6.5 million people currently call Rio de Janeiro home. Right now, you're standing on the top of Corcovado Mountain, 2,329 feet off the ground. Look around you. Can you spot Rio's most famous landmark, Christ the Redeemer? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Why don't you get a little closer? The Portuguese first discovered Rio on January the 1st, 1502, right here in Guanabara Bay. When they first saw the bay you're looking at now, they believed it to be the end of a river. And since the discovery was made in January, the city was appropriately named Rio de Janeiro. In English, this translates to River of January. Brazil's climate is tropical and warm all year round. And Rio alone boasts 50 kilometers of golden sandy beaches. Away from the coast, the hills of Rio are best known for the infamous favelas or shanty towns. The favelas sprang up as a direct result of the chaotic expansion of the city. As development grew, property prices exploded, making it impossible for poor families to buy or even rent downtown. Around 1.5 million people now live in favelas, just like these across Brazil. Let's move inside. Rio is packed with unique and interesting sites just like the one you're looking at now, the Celaron Steps. The creation of the steps began in 1990 as a result of the artist George Celaron renovating the rundown steps that run along the front of his house. The idea spread, and today the design covers 250 steps, is 125 meters long, and is made up of 2,000 tiles from over 60 countries. Did you enjoy yourself? Good. Time to get some rest, as tomorrow our journey continues.